What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Now, after UFC 203, I thought Stipe Miocic looked really good, stopped Alistair Overeem in dominant fashion. It was a little bit competitive, but once he got him on the ground, ground and pound, lights out for Overeem, who thought that Stipe at some point tapped. He wasn't able to identify that moment when they were watching the replay. So maybe they shouldn't interview people after knockouts because I don't know what's, what's kind of going on through your, your head, everything. The adrenaline's coming down and stuff. But John Jones chimed in after this and said he would love to fight Stipe Miocic. He said it'd be the challenge of a lifetime and he would be moving up from light heavyweight to heavyweight to fight a killer, someone who's looked good. You look at Stipe Miocic, he has some adrenaline and he has some momentum going on right now. He knocked out Fabricio Verdum and he also knocked out Alistair Overeem, who's, you know what I mean, a knockout artist and whatnot. So, John Jones versus Stipe Miocic. I mean, the my question for this is it's a, definitely a challenge for John Jones to be moving up. Plus, he's had lows of inactivity and to fight a guy with the type of power like Stipe and the momentum and traction that he has right now. Definitely a dangerous fight, but John Jones highly skilled. If you look at his fight for Daniel Cormier too, even though the fight didn't actually happen, John Jones was looking kind of big, so I definitely believe he has the frame to move up, but to move up and immediately fight a killer like that, definitely a dangerous fight. I would give him props. But the biggest thing is with the whole testing positive and the Cormier 2 getting pulled, the plug pulled on it, I don't even know what the situation for that is and when this will be cleared up. He said on Instagram a long time ago that he'd have some good news. I haven't really heard much, so he has to first clear that up. He's had some inactivity, so I don't know if he wants to move up and immediately face him, but he's saying he does. Um, this would obviously throw a monkey wrench in a Cormier rematch, and I think that would kind of piss off Cormier because they were also talking about John Jones possibly fighting Anthony Rumble Johnson, which is another great fight the fans would love, but it kind of leaves Cormier out in the cold and he would be pissed if his fight gets canceled and then they move on to a Stipe John Jones fight or Anthony Rumble Johnson but there's a lot of healthy options for Stipe Miocic he looked good Cleveland in the house and Fabricio Verdum was on the undercard of UFC 203 he beat Travis Brown around the Royalty boyfriend for a second time he he's on the comeback trail and I think it'd be a good fight Fabricio Verdum was knocked out by Stipe so he called him out once revenge from that KO. He has a win in the win column. That's a good fight. Another fight that a lot of people would want at heavyweight would be Stipe versus Cain Velasquez. Definitely a great fight. Cain has um, also beat Ronda Rousey's boyfriend recently. And he bounced back from his Verdum loss. So a lot of great ways. Things are getting interesting to me in the light heavyweight and heavyweight division. A lot of great fights you can mix and match. Like I said, John Jones, Anthony Rumble Johnson, or he can go the Daniel Cormier route, or he could move up to heavyweight, fight Stipe. Stipe could fight Cain Velasquez. He could fight John Jones, who's obviously a name if he gets his situation cleared up, or he could fight a rematch with Fabricio. Let me know what you want to see. I think they're all healthy and good fights for the fans. And we'll see what Dana White and UFC decides next. Drop that in the comment section. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.